Hi everyone, welcome to US Immigration Hub channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the NVC processing times for April 15, 2024. Just NVC released a couple hours ago. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, case transition from USAS to NVC and also case transition from NVC to consulate for immigrant visas and K visas. We also are going to talk about the May visa bulletin and April NVC backlog report. If you are new to this channel, uh, my name is Timon and I make videos for a family based immigration uh, to simplify the immigration process. If you are new to this channel, uh, please subscribe share, hit notification bell, and give us a big like so YouTube can share the video with more people. First of all, I am not an attorney. I am here to help you based on my experience and also based on the information I have from NVC website. So if you're ready, let's get started. If you follow my channel, you already know what this means. We have three of them, three NVC processing times. First one is the current case by creation time. Second one is a current case review time. And the third one is a current public inquiry form response time. The top two are crucial to your case. You must understand them. First, let's talk about the case transition from USAS to NBC. What does it mean? Once USAS approves your petition, they will send you I-797 approval notice, like this one right here, that have some important information about uh, the petitioner and uh, the beneficiary, mainly alien numbers, and also receipt number and the notice type, of course, is going to be approved notice. And USAS will send, at the meantime, USAS will send your petition for NV, to NVC to process your case. At NVC, they will create your case, enter the data from your petition into the system, then uh, send you instruction as a welcome letter. Uh, this is two welcome letters. Uh, the left hand side is for immigrant visa, also called Notice of Immigrant Visa Case Creation, and it has uh, NVC case number and NVC invoice number. For the right hand side is for immigrant visa, uh, immigrant visa as well, but for K visa. It has only a case number, that's what you need to complete your immigration journey at uh, www.ustravelducks.com. For immigrant visa, however, uh, you must complete your immigration journey at NVC. So they took a different path from this point right here. Now let's go to the first NVC processing times, which is a current case file creation time. As of today, 15th April uh, 2024, NVC is working on the cases that were received from USAS on the 1st April 2024. If we check from last week, as of 9th April 2024, they were working on the same 1st April 2024. As you can see, there is no movement. So you will be uh, to receive a welcome letter. There will be a lot of people that are not going to receive a welcome letter uh, for this week. So, and if you are in this category right here, F1, F2, A, F2, B, F3, and F4, just expect a long wait to get, uh, uh, to get a welcome letter to get documentary qualified and to get the interview. Now let's talk about K visas. Uh, this is a welcome letter for K visa. It has only, as I said, case number. That's the mo most important element that you need from, uh, from this welcome letter because uh, once you have it, it's time to go to check uh, your, your status, visa status. How you do that? Just go online and type visa status check and it's going to come up like this. Uh, click on the first link and then it's going to come up like this right here. Just one thing I want to mention right here, uh, select uh, visa application job should be immigrant, not non-immigrant. And then you enter the, the case number that we have from your uh, welcome letter and then you enter the character right here and then you click submit. Once you click submit, it's going to give you a status. If it's ready, it's time to go and create your profile. It is very simple. I have a video on my channel on how to do that if you want to watch it. You will need your email address to create your profile. You will do that on uh, www.usravdocs.com. Once you now you log in, you create your, your account and you have your uh, login credential, you log into your account and it's gonna show like this. This is what's confusing, not immigrant visa application. 
app, uh, you apply for a visa, pay your visa fee, complete DS 160, schedule your appointment. That's the most important uh, stuff that you can do in your uh, uh, profile. But well, one thing I want to mention right here, it is very important because a lot of people miss it for uh, DS 160. Once you start filing DS 160, I'm sorry, DS 160, you must write the application ID and security question down because you will need them in the future. And if you do not remember them, there is no way you can recover your application. That's my advice. Now, let's switch to immigrant visas such as CR and IR. Uh, this is a welcome letter for immigrant visa. As I mentioned before, it has a case number and a invoice ID number. And it has a link as well. If you click on the link, it's going to take you to the sign-in page where you can enter case number. Uh, you, and, and it's going to take you to the next page where you can enter invoice ID number. And then you select the, the one, uh, check, uh, login into the account. It could be a petitioner, applicant, or attorney, or third-party agent. And then you enter the character shown above. And then it's going to take you uh, once you sign in, it's going to take you to the main page of your NVC account. Make sure this information right here is right. This is the bottom of your NVC account. Uh, first, you must pay the fees for uh, affidavits of support and uh, applicant. And uh, applicants, if you have uh, multiple applicants. Of course, it's going to be the principal applicant, then the applicants. Uh, then, once you cannot pay the fees at the same time, you must pay them separately. Then you can start from uh, affidavits to support documents and financial evidence, uploading them. Once you've done, you can start IV application. You cannot do civil documents until you complete the S260 application and you print the confirmation page. Now, let's go to the second NVC time frame, which is current case review time. As of today, 15 April 24, NBC is reviewing documents submitted to them on the 8th April 2024. Uh, if we check from last week, 9th April 2024, they were working on uh, on documents submitted to them on the, uh, the 2nd April 2024. As you can see, this one at least, they moved six days ahead. Uh, before NBC review your document, you must pay all the fees and submit all required documents, petitioner affidavit to support, supporting financial document, applicant days 260 and applicant civil document. Uh, this is the petition document. Once you log into your account, they're going to show missing. You must upload them. Once you upload them, it will show uploaded. The status will change to uploaded and the date will assign right here. Now, once you submit them, you click on submit, the status will change submitted. And that's the date they are talking about. Uh, the current case review time. Submitted date. That's the current uh, case review time. It could be in a petition side or applicant side. This is the applicant document. It will show missions. Once you upload them, it will show uploaded and you have a date right here. Once you click on submit, it will show submitted right here and the date will change as well. That's the date they are talking about, the current case review time. Now, NVC will take time to review them. If NVC accept them, they will be accepted. So from this point right here, you are back in Montreal like qualified. And NVC will send you an email telling you that your visa case becoming document Montreal qualified. This is a case transition from an NVC to consul. What does it mean? Now, once you become document Montreal qualified, NVC will work with your consular to schedule an interview for you. Once they do that, they will send you interview visa appointment. That's how time, location, and the country where you will have interview. Uh, this is uh, the backlog report for, ap for April. It has some good news and bad news. The bad news, I'm sorry, the good news is they scheduled a lot of interviews. It was 52,835 uh, interviews for April 2024. And also they, uh, they accepted a lot of documents, doc documents. Uh, documentary qualified cases. It was 404, 459. That's a lot. And as you know, the more documentary qualified cases, less interviews, it will increase the backlog. The backlog, again, as you can see right here, is 351, 624. It went back to the pandemic era, which is not good. Uh, if you check your status at this point right here, this is your NBC account. It will show at your country, where, city in your country, where you have interview. And for the visa status check, it will show it is 
it will show it ready. Let's go to the last one, which is a current public and quality form response time. Uh, as of 15, 2024, as of 15, April 2024, NBC is responding to a query received on the 11th, April 2024. Uh, to send an inquiry to NBC, it is very simple. Go online and type NBC, uh, NBC uh, inquiry and it, click on the first link and it, then it's going to take you to the inquiry page. You will need NBC case number or USCIS receipt number, uh, principal applicant full name, date of birth, uh, principal applicant date of birth, uh, petition for name, and who are you, who is filing this uh, uh, inquiry. You will need an email address, of course, because NVC cannot uh, communicate without uh, a valid email address, and then you can answer your inquiry. The good things about this inquiry, you can attach five attachments, being supporting documents. If you have some supporting documents that you want to send with your inquiry, you can do that. Then you click, I'm, I'm not, uh, you check, I'm not robot, then click on submit, your, and your inquiry will be sent to NBC. NBC will respond in a couple of days. So uh, this is the end of this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, share, hit notification bell. Thank you, and see you next video.